handle with care. There we go. Right, what have we got here? This is our latest design product. We just grabbed one off the shelf, haven't we, Zach? Yep. Yeah, we do an unboxing. All right, how well have we boxed this, Zach? Let's hope. Oh, look at that. We've, we've boxed that with love and care, look. Designed and boxed with love and care in the United Kingdom. Look at that. Right, what have we got here? We have got a dash panel. We are going to show you our dash panel. So you get some fitting screws. We've got. Well, if someone's wrapped this up beautifully, Zach. We'll have to rewrap this. Right there. And then we've got the aluminium panel, powder coated on both sides. Notice like the chamfering, and it's got the texture as close as we could get it to that. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. There you go, texture panel. Right, right, right. This is Zach's work, isn't it, Zach? Yep. And then we have got some brackets. One in a bag, one out of a bag. Why would we do that? Mm, wasn't me. Right then. So these are 3D printed brackets. Okay, so these two brackets, and what these do cunningly is, are they labeled left and right? We've got- Yeah, on the, uh, on the rear the, side. On the rear side. Right, and what they're gonna do is you're gonna bolt with the provided nuts and bolts bolt that together like that okay and then it's gonna fit in this area here now in true blue peter style do you remember that yeah Here's exactly. one I made that, remembers yeah. that right there we go right look what you can do is in your panel you can drill some holes doesn't matter how beautifully you drill them or not okay and you could mount whatever you like so we have mounted a switch we have mounted a usb laptop charger here we have put in a another usb there we've got a usb so we just put a load of stuff and these two are surface mount so you've only got to drill holes to put the wires and the fixing screws through and then this is actually our new designer product and it's that this is a magsafe holder and we actually designed a bezel for the switch because what we found when you're mounting switches in these panels is you cut a rough hole and you can see it so i thought it'd be good if we design a big so you can cut a rougher hole as you like and then put that round it and it will all look beautiful right so so that's all great that's all great i'm going to plug this in to the usb-c right tuck that and this is where it all gets cool isn't it Zach? yeah okay and obviously you can do all your wiring on the back and also you have got you can take a lot of your power off this accessory socket here so you've got that and you could wait make up a little wiring loom and take everything there Okay, and then this is designed, so you, you rest this bottom edge, so you've got this little curve in the bottom, and it's designed to match the contour of, of that area there. And then you push in the top, and then this top, okay, and that is super solid. It can't go left to right, it's squidged in, and look at that, and that gives you like a continual, we try to sort of continue slope. Now this is a MagSafe phone charger. Now. There's good news and bad news on this. We show them the good news first, Zach. Yep. We don't get it all right first time, every time. So this actually will, right, how do I close all your messages and weird stuff, Zach? Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Right, and that is a MagSafe charger. So you've got an ideal ergonomic phone location for you or your passenger to use. Okay, now where we've designed it, you couldn't get it, but if you didn't put these, you could have it. So you could have it. And all the wires are invisible. That goes on there. That's cool, and that charges. Right, the only thing is, what phone is yours, Zach? 12 Pro. 12 Pro. On some phones, the camera catches on these corner bits, um, and you might have to put it on a bit like that. We will put on the website when we launch those, but you could mount that on your bedside table, on a wall. It's a really compact 2D. I got one, didn't I? What did I do with it's one? It's here. It's here. It's like... So this we will launch as a sub-product. So this is a generic, we're gonna to have to tweak it a bit, aren't we? But you can mount that on, on a flat surface. You can also, oh, do we not? You can also, there's a, a slot out here so you can just put it straight on the wall and have the cable come in external or hidden and you can wrap the cable around here. But we'll do more on that one when we've got it perfected. But we will put these up for sale. Right, um, and we've got the switch panels. Where's the switch panels at? Oh, we're good here. Yeah. Up here. Oh, that was my fault. Right, so this, this is a switch panel for these type of switches, and it's just a mount. 
So you've got two nice countersunk holes and it allows you to mount the switch and you don't have to worry about cutting too neat a hole. So let us know what you think. That is our control panel and then you can configure whatever switches. Um, if, you, if you buy one of these and do some cool setups, send us some pictures, we'll put them on the website and credit you. Um, but that's our attempt at an auxiliary control panel. Um, Maybe it's not as cool as the Grenadier one with all the aircraft switches, but I think that's pretty neat and maybe more usable. Right, good luck with that.